LIB presents Kisses of Tragedy, a collaboration of love stories by Emma Yadani. Copyright Year 2021. Published by Life is Beautiful, Printing Corporation. He can sacrifice the sleep for me. Narrated by certified voice artist Lenny Ilaw. Good morning, passengers. This is the pre-boarding announcement for Flight PR218 to America. We are now inviting passengers with small children and any passenger requiring special assistance to come forward and begin boarding first. The airline announcement echoed within the entire airport, reminding me that my departure will be in a few minutes from now. Sighing, I stood up and carried my duffel bag as I shifted my eyes back to Timothy, who was silently staring at me with one hand inside his pocket. I gave him a weak smile. So, this is goodbye? He stared at me, held my hand, and pulled me closer to him, and gave me a tight hug, with me feeling his well-toned biceps and broad chest against mine. My heart suddenly flattered. Seriously, I will miss this warmth whenever I was in between his arms. Walang goodbye na mangyayari. He said firmly, We're still going to meet soon, right? You will come back and I will wait for you. He pulled away, smiling as he gently pinched my cheek. At isa pa, what's the use of social media? We can still communicate. He chuckled. <laughs> Don't be overdramatic, love. Kasi makikita mo pang gwapong mukha ng boyfriend mo. He winked, causing me to let out a laugh. He was indeed serious about our long-distance relationship set up. With my hand still holding the duffel bag, I wrapped my arms around his neck as I gave him a peck on the lips. Damn, I'm gonna miss this. His kisses, his hugs, his smell, his voice, his touch, his everything. I'm gonna miss my man. I miss you so much. I softly uttered, holding back my tears. Iniisip ko pa lang na mawawalay kami sa isa't isa. Naninikip na ang dibdib ko. His face slowly softened as he gently cupped my face. I'll miss you too, Patricia. So damn much. Kaya wag kang titingin sa ibang lalaki ron ha. Ihintahin kita rito. I nodded. Of course, ikaw lang. I love you. It had been three months since I left the Philippines and started living here in America with my family. At first, it was difficult for me to adjust to the new environment, but thanks to my newfound friends, I finally coped up. Meanwhile, about Timothy and B, we were totally okay. Every morning and afternoon, we would always talk via Skype and Messenger since I was working nights. So, in Timothy's case, he would usually talk to me late at midnight due to our different time zones. Daytime in America and nighttime in the Philippines. Timmy, hindi ka pa ba matutulog? I asked, looking at this beguiling pair of eyes on the screen. It's already 2 a.m. in your time and we've been talking for an hour now. Kita-kita ko na rin ang eyebags mo, oh. I tried pointing at his eyebags on my screen. Causing him to chuckle. <laughs> Don't mind me. Di naman ako inaantok, love. I shook my head, not believing his excuse. No, patulog ka na, Timothy. He suddenly pouted. You don't want to talk to me anymore? He asked, sulking. Hey, it's not that. I trailed off. I just want you to sleep. So, you don't want to talk to me? His lips pouted even more. Hindi mo na ako mahal, no? Hoy! Mahal kita! I exclaimed. In just a blink of an eye, he smiled widely. Then, let's talk some more. I miss you so bad, Patricia. Tawing ganitong oras lang kita nakakausap ng matagal, kaya pagbigyan mo na ako, hmm? Napairap na lang ako sa harap ng screen. Ang lakas talagang magtampo. 
Tinalo pa ako. Fine, I said. Basta, sabihan mo lang ako kung inaanto ka na para naman makatulog ka na, ha? He chuckled. <laughs> I can always sacrifice my sleep for you, love. Don't worry too much. He gave me a genuine smile, telling me that he was really fine. I heaved a sigh and smiled back, getting rid of the worry piling up inside me. Okay, if you say so. He chuckled again, messed his hair, and then later on I saw him holding a guitar. Kantahan kita? Smiling, I nodded. Yes, please. God, I miss him singing for me. He slowly strammed his guitar, staring at me as he began singing a song that best suited our situation. Magkabilang Mundo by Jairi Lim. The whole time he was singing, my eyes were completely glued on him, savoring the beauty and coldness of his voice. Dito ay umaga at dyan ay gabi, ang oras natin ay magkasalungat. Aking hapunan ang iyong umagahan, ngunit kahit na anong mangyari, balang araw ay makakapiling My heart was moved. Gee, I was totally madly in love with this man. He was all the guy I could wish for. And I was really glad that he was mine. Another three months passed. From talking with him every day, slowly, it became seldom. He would always say that he was busy. And whenever I would invite him to have a video call with him, He would always refuse and make a lame excuse. I knew something was up and something had changed between us. And it was slowly killing me. Wala na akong maisip na dahilan kung bakit bigla siyang unti-unting hindi nagpaparamdam. Kundi ang posibilidad na baka mayroon na siyang iba. Damn it. I hoped my suspicions were not true. One time, Tamara, his stepsister, chatted me on messenger and asked me how i was doing we talked for a couple of minutes about some random things until our topic shifted to timothy and b tamara kumusta na pala kayong timi me i don't know ate this past few days pakiramdam ko ay iniiwasan ako ni timothy ayaw niya nga ring makipag video call hindi tulad noon na siya pang pa umaaya sa akin Tamara. Actually, Patricia, I talked to you to tell you something about my stepbrother. Me. Why? Anong meron kay Timmy? Tamara. Ayaw sana ni Timmy na malaman mo to kasi baka masaktan ka. Pero mas nabuti na sigurong masaktan ka sa katotohanan. Kesa itago pa namin sa'yo to. Me. Ano yun ate? Tell me. Tamara, you need to come back here first, Pat. Can you do that? My heart raced fast, staring at the wooden door in front of us. As soon as Tamara opened it for me, my eyes dropped on a man lying on the bed with needles, tubes, and wires connected all over his body. When our eyes met, I gasped, and my heart slowly shattered like fragile glass. Tears streamed down my cheeks, and I ran to him as if my feet had a life of their own. I hugged him tightly. Love. He weakly uttered, coughing, as if he was already hovering between life and death. Why did you tell me? I asked, sobbing. Gustong gusto kong magalit sa kanya dahil itinago niya ang kanyang sakit sa akin. Gustong gusto kong magtampo pero tang ina, hindi na mahalaga yun. Ang gusto ko na lang mangyari ay maging maayos na ang kalagayan niya. Sorry. He copped my face, wiping the tears in my cheeks. Sorry for not telling you, love. Ayoko lang naman na 
mag-alala ka at sisihin ang sarili mo. I looked away. He knew me very well. Tama naman siya. Kasalanan ko to. Tamara told me that before I went to America, he was already diagnosed with having fatal familial insomnia. It was a rare brain disorder related to trouble in sleeping or insomnia, progressively worsening as time went by, weakening one's physical and mental condition. At first, he was taking sleeping pills to make himself fall asleep. Pero simula nang umalis ako, pumigil siya para bas makausap kami tuwing madaling araw. Obviously, it was my entire fault. He didn't just sacrifice his sleep for me, even his health, his life. And now, this was the consequence. All you did was to sacrifice your sleep for me. I become a bad girlfriend. I'm sorry, love. I cried. He hushed me as he softly kissed my forehead, wiping every tear that rolled down my cheeks. If God would give me another chance to turn back the time, I'd still choose my remaining months to spend every single night talking to you. So please, don't blame yourself. Ginusto ko to. I, I, I love you. I'll make up to you. <laughs> I love you more. He smiled weakly. A tear escaped from the corner of his eye. I rested my head on his chest, feeling the slow beating of his heart. I felt his fingers stroking my hair. Somehow, it made me feel as if everything was fine. Minutes later, he broke the silence. Love. Mm -hmm. I'm already tired. Can I sleep for now? My chest tightened. Fear suddenly consumed me. However, I still managed to nod and force a smile. I gently kissed him on his forehead. Sleep now, Timothy. You deserve to rest. Pag-ising ko, ikaw pa rin ang mahal ko. Patricia, he uttered softly, and I smiled. As the tangerine sun slowly set on the horizon, I watched him close his eyes and fall asleep, with tears rolling down my cheeks. But little did I know, that was already the last time. The last time I would see his eyes shining, feel his fingers stroking my hair, and hear him say, I love you. For the heart rate, the monitor bipped in the silence of the room. Timothy already slept permanently. <laughs>